Hey guys, so I'm going to do Connor's 11 month update. Um, he's actually in bed, so you're not going to see him in this one. Um, yeah, but I'm just going to kind of jump right in here. I have a little list that's going to be um, on the table in front of me here. So he still is breastfeeding. Um, I, I'm doing, I'm not sure which one I'll post first, but I'm doing a breastfeeding update, 11 months. So check that out. I'm not really going to talk about that in this video. Um, he is walking. I'm walking well, like even running. <laughs> um, yeah, he started at about 10 and a half months. Um, and he is like a professional now. <laughs> so um, He got two teeth. So his top two middle teeth are in. Um, and he has the two bottom teeth, so he has four all together now. He's in size 18 months still. And it's he, 11.30. He weighs uh, 23 pounds, and that's what he weighed two weeks ago when I weighed him. Um, I take him to a breastfeeding support group, and they have a scale there, so I get to weigh him whenever I take him there. Not sure what his length is. I haven't measured him, and he has an a well visit um, on like the thirteenth of September, I think. So I'll get measured then. Um, let's see. He's wears. We got his first pair of walking shoes. <laughs> um, they're so cute. I, I you might have seen them before, but I'll just show them to you anyways because I have them right here. How adorable. And these are from Stride, right? Um, which is like, you can see maybe Stride right on the heel there. But they're like really, really good um, walking shoes. So Connor is a size five extra wide, which babies are supposed to be that at like 18 months to two years. So he has ginormous feet. Um, when we took him there to get his crib shoes, they like, he was a size three at like six months and that's like the biggest that they even make in those shoes. So he barely even was able to get soft soled shoes. Um, and they have a warranty at Stride Right. If your baby outgrows the shoes, um, quicker than three months, they will give you 33% off the next pair of shoes. So they said uh, m most kids never grow out of them that quickly, but people, babies that are already his size at his age, they're the ones who do. So they made sure to tell us about that program. So that is really nice. Um, if you have a stride ride, uh, you should definitely check it out. Um, and diapers, he's in a size five for pampers because he was peeing out of the fours, which is when we know how to switch, when to switch sizes is when he starts doing that. Um, but Target brand, he is in four, size four, and they fit him so well. Um, I love Target. We, we use their wipes. Um, they're amazing. They're made actually of cloth. They're soft. They stay moist. They don't, um, dry out like a lot of the other wipes do. And, uh, their diapers are really nice. Um, I have not actually had him ruin an outfit in a Target diaper, um, but I have in Pampers and definitely in Huggies. Um, okay, so we started adult oatmeal this week, and we're making it with cow's milk. <laughs> um, I, if you watch my breastfeeding video, you'll see I'm pretty much done pumping. I'm not pumping anymore, except when I'm at work, and that gives them a bottle for the next night. So I don't have extra breast milk, um, and I don't want to make oatmeal with water, and I don't want to make it with formula. So we are using cow's milk. We're just using whole milk, and... Um, you're allowed to switch completely to cow's milk by 12 months. And he's like 
11 months and one week. So we're three weeks short of being able to be totally on cow's milk. So I, I didn't hesitate to use it because I think it's a good, like, it's getting, it's introducing it to him because um, I'm sure it tastes a lot different than breast milk because um, breast milk's really sweet. And I know cow's milk isn't because I've had cow's milk. So he's doing fine with it so far. Obviously, he's not like drinking it from a cup. So he doesn't really have the flavor yet. But, um, you know, his his uh, intestines, intestinal tract and everything is handling it okay. Um, Connor is signing now. And he is signing a lot. Today, he signed like all day. Every time we fed him, he was signing more and eat so more is supposed to be like this but he just goes like this and holds his little hands together and uh, eat is supposed to be like this but he goes or with food in his hand he goes eat he tells me he's eating when he's eating but um, he's signing so um, and he signs milk and he says no and he waves high so no, shaking your head no and waving are also signs, um, but a lot of people don't think of them as that, but they are. Um, he's saying, done, mama, dada, and he'll imitate us, um, which, you know, doesn't give me confidence that he knows what he's saying when he does it, but he does. Like, um, when we were at the zoo today, we were saying, hi, fish, and he would go, hi, fish, but, uh. I don't think he knows that he's saying hi fish, but um, you never know. Maybe he does, but he doesn't um, say that at home, but he doesn't have fish at home, so I don't know. Um, the last thing I have on here to talk about is his eating schedule, and it's probably boring, so you don't have to listen to it if you don't want, but um, we nurse in the morning when he wakes up, and this will kind of be like his daily routine too now, so maybe you'll want to listen to it. Um, we nurse in the morning when he wakes up, which is about between 7.30 and 8.30. Um, and then he goes back down until about 11.30. And then he gets up and we nurse again and we come downstairs and we play for a little bit and we have some oatmeal. And then about like between 1.30 and 2.30, we nurse again and put him down for a nap. And then he sleeps for about two to three hours. Then whenever he gets up from that, we nurse. Um, and then we just play or sometimes we go to the zoo or sometimes we go to the, the children's museum um, or jamboree or whatever we're doing in the evenings. And then whenever we eat dinner, he eats off of our plate whatever he can. Um, so he gets like finger foods when we eat our dinner. And then, oh, I forgot to tell you about lunch. When he gets up from his nap, we also, he eats his lunch. So he'll have a vegetable and a fruit. And it's all homemade. Um, okay, so then we do whatever we're going to do. And then about 8 o'clock, he nurses again. Um, and then at 10 o'clock, he has dinner which is two vegetables, a fruit, um, which is actually mixed in his yogurt. So he gets four ounces of yogurt with fruit in it and his meat, which normally it's chicken. Normally that's what he has at dinner. Then when we eat our dinner, he eats whatever meat we're eating. So he does get a variety, but um, before bed he gets chicken. And then I think that's all. So then he gets his bath. And then um, he nurses again. And then if he's still hungry, I offer him a bottle. Because he just nursed at 8 and at like 10.30, I don't have a whole lot of milk made yet. So um, he'll normally take about 4 ounces from a bottle as well. Um, and then he goes to bed at like 10.30 and sleeps till 7.30 or 8.30. And then we start all over. So that's our day. Um, yeah, so I will update when he is a year old, you guys. <laughs> Bye, guys.